This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic is solution database. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is solution database. We'll understand basically what is solution database. Okay, over you and then use of solution database. Why they use the solution database? What is the reason? Okay. And then elements of solution database. What are the elements present in the solution database? We will understand. Setting up the solution database. How to set up the solution database? We'll see. Then symptoms and solution. What is symptom and what is solution? How they are created? Okay. We will create a symptom and a solution. We will link them. We will see that. Then working with solution database. Ultimately, where the solution database is used, we will see. I'll show it in the system and then uh, solution database configuration okay so these are the topics we will be covering in the solution database okay so first we will start with the introduction to solution database okay so here we will understand what is solution database basically okay the solution database is an application used to save problem symptoms and solutions and link them with one another and call them so basically here what happens is in the solution database you for a problem let's say customer is having one problem okay for that problem what kind of solution we can give that you prepare and keep it in the solution database okay i have a problem for that problem what solution you can propose so that you will put it in the solution database and then you will link them the symptom and solution symptom is like a problem and solution is a solution for that problem okay you can use the solution database in any area or your organization where you want to preserve expertise okay so uh, basically whatever the knowledge you get from the previous problems that you will use it in the solution database okay suppose let's say a customer calls you he says diesel generator is having some problem okay then first you will ask him First, you check your connection, main connection that you will propose to him. Okay, so that kind of things for the for a particular solution, what is a problem? What is a for a particular problem? What is the solution you are going to propose? Okay, that you will maintain in the solution database. For example, in the customer interaction center, agents access the solution database to answer customer question. Suppose, let's say I'll give you one another scenario. Let's say you purchased a laptop okay the laptop is uh, let's say having some issue okay then you call the customer care the customer care agent will tell you you just start the uh, restart the laptop once or you just install a antivirus software so that initial solution the customer care person will give by accessing the solution database so he will take the customer call he will understand the problem according to that problem what solution we can propose he will search in the solution database and he will propose so that is the use of solution database okay the solution database supports an environment for knowledge engineers to manage knowledge bases and a basic interface for agents field engineers or other users to search knowledge bases so not only customer service agent the solution database can be used by the engineers and technicians okay the solution database contains symptoms solutions and references and solution symptoms are linked with one another using reference so basically in the solution database you have two things one is symptom symptom is nothing but a problem and for this problem what is a solution then you will link them together we will see this in the system i will show you I'll, we will create a symptom we will create a solution and then we will link them and also we will understand where they are used okay normally solution database is used to support the customer by so normally this solution database used by customer service agent initial problems which can be resolved by on the phone itself for those kind of things they will use this solution database okay so let's continue so this is the one it's like a search engine the solution database is nothing but a search engine so where you have all the problems different kinds of problems symptoms okay and for each symptom what is the solution that you will maintain 
and you create solute symptoms solutions and you will link them and for the solution what task we need to perform that you will maintain through catalogs okay so this we are going to see it in the system so whenever customer agent gets a call from the customer based on the problem he will do the search and accordingly according to the symptom he will find out the solution and then he will uh, what do you say uh, propose a solution to the customer that's what happened okay so let's continue uh, so first we will start with the symptoms what is symptoms we will understand okay so basically the solution database will contain two things solution database will contain two things one is symptom symptom okay symptom is nothing but the problem it is nothing but a problem okay and the another one is solution solution is nothing but a problem a solution to the symptom okay first we will create a symptom and then we will create a solution and we will link to these two okay so first of all we'll understand what is symptom a symptom a symptom in the solution database contains information to describe a problem so so, so symptom is nothing but a problem basically okay the structure of a symptom is displayed when you create change or display a solution that is linked to it. i will show you this in the system okay symptoms are described using free text you can directly enter some text or code catalogs attributes for problem codes so you can use catalogs also we already covered in our earlier sessions catalogs catalog profile all those things so using catalogs also you can maintain the symptoms and also here you maintain the problem causes of the problems problem location configured attributes priorities and statuses and symptoms ultimately once created can be linked with any number of business objects such as product equipments or even to a installed device okay so once it is created it can be linked to a material or it can be linked to a equipment or it can be linked to a installed device but we will create we will link it to equipment okay so now let's first create the symptom i'll go to the system okay i'll log into the s4 hana system So the T code to create a symptom is IS01. This is the T code. IS01 solution database create display change symptom. This is the T code IS01. So what you need to do here is you need to click on this button. There is a white paper button. Create symptom. Click on that. The moment you click on that, you will be getting this screen. Solution.